Good morning. Welcome back to another day in first grade. Today is Thursday and this is our morning meeting. Our greeting this morning is going to be a song that we kind of sang last year, but we changed it a little bit to fit what's happening right now. So normally we would sing, here we are together, but we changed it so that it says, we want to be together. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to sing that for you. If you are new um, to our class, you weren't with us in kindergarten, then this song might be new for you. But basically it repeats over and over again, and we sing each person's name. If you were here at school, we would be around the edge of the carpet, and when you heard your name, you would get to do some kind of action, whether it was just waving or some thumbs up or, you know, giving a hug, something like that. But you can do the same thing when you hear your name at home. Right. Just know that we will get to everybody, um, but since you're not here, we don't really know what order it's going to be in. We'll just make it up as we go along. Right. All right? All right, ready? Okay. We want to be together, together, together. We want to be together, but we're learning at home. There's Acoria and Rion and Jackson and Rakaya. We want to be together, but we're learning at home. We want to be together, together, together. We want to be together, but we're learning at home. There's Jameson and Naomi and Zaire and Allison. We want to be together, but we're learning at home. We want to be together, together, together. We want to be together, but we're learning at home. There's Johnny and Olivia and Legacy and Carter. We want to be together, but we're learning at home. We want to be together, together, together. We want to be together, but we're learning at home. There's Serenity and Theo and Mrs. Peterson. And Ms. Hadwood. We want to be together, but we're learning at home. Air high five. Woo! That was awesome. Hopefully, you did a fun motion for us. Um, when you heard your name and that we can be together here on the carpet soon to sing that song. That would be great. So now it's time for our Pledge of Allegiance. Miss Atwood has our flag. <laughs> we're going to put our hands over our hearts. We're going to be respectful and we're going to say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Awesome. And next up is our chime time. I really loved hearing you guys on our live Zoom yesterday talk about where you went in your mind. Some friends went to Disney World, some friends went to McDonald's, some friends came here to school in their mind. So remember during a chime time, it's your chance to get in the green zone to be ready for your learning for the day. So wherever you go is a special place for you to get calm and ready to learn. Yes. You have a good idea? I do. All right. So remember, you're going to hear the sound of the chime two times. You're going to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, listening for the sound of the chime as long as you can. After the second time, when you can't hear the sound anymore, then you can open your eyes slowly and quietly. Ready? move on to our learning intention and success criteria. We are going to finish this out the rest of this week and then we're going to end up with a new learning intention and success criteria next week. But that doesn't mean that we should forget about being a distance learner. Right. Because that's going to be our job the whole time that we're at home. But we're just kind of showing you that, yep, yeah, you can do it. A lot of you have been giving us the thumbs up with your thumb meter so I feel like we are ready to move on. But keep these ideas in your brain as you're doing your work to make sure that you continue to be a distance learner. So in order to do that, these are our success criteria. I can follow my daily schedule, be in my learning space, 
complete quality work on time. And that was the one that we went over for the first time yesterday. So Ms. Atwood, do you remember kind of what we talked about with quality work on time? On time, we asked you what on time meant. Do it at a reasonable time. Don't wait till you get behind. So whenever you see it, if possible, do it right then. Then you'll be done with it. Right. Then you don't have to worry about it. And when you don't do things right away, sometimes mm -hmm. they kind of pile up and That's stack right. up. And it puts you behind. And that means you got to catch up. And you feel kind of more uncomfortable and yes. stressed and your brain can't remember everything. Right. So it's easier to kind of space out your work. But we are going to use Fridays. We got an email um, from Miss O yesterday. We're going to use Fridays as kind of a catch-up day for those friends um, that are having a t hard time keeping up uh -huh. and getting their work done. So just know that our work stuff on Fridays is going to be a little bit less. We're still going to push out our fun firsty Friday mm -hmm. stuff, but hopefully you can use that time on Fridays to sure. do some it's of that quality work. work. Can you remind me what quality work is? Quality is doing it, it well, neat. Uh, think about uh, the form of it, remembering what you did, and make it neat so the teacher can understand, make it easy for her to understand that. Yeah, and following the directions, like if we ask you to record your voice or yeah. we ask you to move things. Or we ask you to write. Right, trying to make sure that you look at what we are asking you to do mm -hmm. and quality work means that you follow those directions the best that you can. Yeah. We do all make mistakes, friends, and technology makes it even harder. Yeah. So if you send something to us and we don't feel like it meets what we asked you to do, it's not your fault. But we are going to leave you a comment that says, hey, this is how you can make it better and send it back to you. Again, please don't feel bad if you yeah. see work come back to you because a lot of the time it's about the technology not working mm -hmm. and not something that you did wrong. It's okay to make mistakes and we just want to fix them to be able to grow and get better. That's right because nobody's perfect. Oh, I'm not perfect. It would be really <laughs> scary if people were perfect. All right, so here's our schedule for the day today. We have our same three stars next to morning meeting reading as a whole group, and then letter land. So notice how there's no star next to Sanford Harmony. That's because our Sanford Harmony stuff is in morning meeting some days, okay? We're, um, our reading whole group is gonna finish Library Mouse, and then letter land today is gonna be live. You are gonna tune in um, through Zoom to do letter land with me. So hopefully you watch the letter land lesson from yesterday so that you feel ready to do our letter land lesson today, okay? So our message says, Good morning, cool, connecting classmates. Notice how I started all those words with one of our letter landers that you learned yesterday. Can you figure it out, Miss Atwood? Oh, I think it's C. Look at all those C's. Which letter lander has that k sound for C? Do you know, Miss Atwood? Okay. Yeah, look yeah, at that. She guessed so it. She did know. She's got to go back and watch her letter land lesson. It's <laughs> Clever Cat. Make Clever Cat sound with me. Ready? So you guys are cool, connecting classmates. classmates. Because in Sanford Harmony this week, it's all about making those connections. Finding something you have in common, common. another c c clever cat sound. So we've been doing the blog for you to see that, um, what you have in common with your friends. And we are going to do a fun activity at the end of morning meeting today to find some more connections Connection. with our <laughs> classmates. All right. Today is Thursday, August 20th, 2020. We will finish Library Mouse. We will also have our first live Letterland lesson. Keep commenting on the blog to find connections with your friends. We love you, Mrs. Peterson and Miss Atwood. So even though we're not going to do morning meeting or Sanford Harmony on Zoom today, I did think maybe we should push out the rest of our bag activities, mm -hmm. the, the three things that yes. tell about you. Mm -hmm. I know my friend Olivia got on last night and put hers on the blog. So I'm going to push out um, Rion's and um, Serenity so that you guys can see them on the blog today and use that to comment. So thank you to those friends that did it. Yeah. If you're one of the friends that didn't do it, we can always push out your stuff tomorrow to the blog. So you can spend time today um, picking out three things around your house that have, have to do with you or are special to you. And then if we get those, we'll put those on the blog for friends to comment on tomorrow. Sound good? All right. All right. So here is our fun get to know you, make connections activity for the day today. 
and it's a game called Would You Rather. So basically in Would You Rather, okay, there's a question that gives you a choice of two things and you have to think to yourself, do I want to pick this, this or do I want to pick that? that, okay? But the important part of picking is thinking about why, why you're picking it because the thinking that goes into it is actually the more interesting part mm -hmm. than just the choice that you're making. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all three for you, okay, and explain our thinking behind them, and then we're going to put this slide up on Seesaw, or we'll leave it at the end of our message here, um, and you can use your voice to comment and mm -hmm. tell us, would you rather yes, for all three of these things, um, and then hopefully be able to hear your friends' comments as well, mm -hmm. and see if you can find some connections with them, or with us as your yes. teachers, all right? So the first question Ms. Atwood says, would you rather swim in a pool or the ocean? What do you think? Now, I like both, but I think I like the ocean better because salt water, salt water is healing. And the reason why the pool is kind of so-so, there's chlorine in the pool and it burns my eyes. So when I go to the pool, I kind of switch from the pool to the hot tub. So you, if you had a, a total choice, you'd pick hot tub. Hot tub. Hot tub. But if, yes. you, if it's just pool or ocean? Pool ocean. I'd go for the ocean. Okay, well, I'm actually different from Miss Atwood. I would rather swim in a pool because um, things don't live in a pool for the most part. I mean, you might find little tiny, you yeah. know, bugs or yeah, maybe yeah. like something might get in it, but then you can just, you can take Throw it out. out. But lots of things <laughs> live in the ocean. And just something about that kind of freaks me out a little bit. So if I'm going to the beach, I'm going to like walk in the ocean and then come out. I'm not yeah. going to like swim, swim in yeah. the ocean. So if, I, if I'm hot and I want to go for a swim to cool mm -hmm. off, I'm going to jump in the pool. So that's my choice between pool and ocean. I pick pool, Miss Atwood picks ocean. All right. So our next one is, would you rather have a flying carpet or a robot? Hmm. hmm. What do you think? If it were me, I would rather have a flying carpet because, I mean, that means that you could go anywhere. I mean, truly, you could just jump on your flying carpet. You could zip through traffic. You wouldn't have to worry about, True. you know, cars or stuff. You could get to the store super True. quick. You could go to a, a interesting place super quick, quick, right? And I just, I think that would be really neat mm -hmm. to have that as the way to travel on a flying carpet. What about you? That's a hard decision because I like the idea of a flying carpet. I think I might go with a robot. A ro that surprises because me, Miss Atwood, because you like to travel. So. I like to travel, yes. But flying carpet, I don't want to have to worry about running into birds and <laughs> airplanes yeah, that would be and pretty trees. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go with the robot because on my lazy days when I don't feel like doing nothing, I can tell the robot, go get my soda, go get my food, go make up the bed. Go with robots. Right, like stuff. pick up my toys yes. and, and make the robot do yes. everything. Okay, all right, I can see that. It's only for lazy days, though. Right, you don't want to do that all the time. Yeah. But your robot might be able to give you information about things, too. Like True. Almost like when you ask your mm -hmm. phone stuff, maybe your robot can be can like, that oh, all no, yes. or like find a recipe for. That's and then, right. Then you, do, you don't have to be lazy all the time. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the hardest one, I think. Yeah. Would you rather be a doctor? Or a scientist. scientist. Both of them are good people. But I think I'm going to be a scientist. I'd like to make things or come up with ideas that's going to help somebody. Which is the same way a doctor does. They help, but they're, um, you're kind of leaving your life in the doctor's hand. And I don't think I want that responsibility. Doctors do have a lot of responsibility. I'll oh, agree yeah. with that. They have to go to school a long time to become a good doctor. Mm -hmm. And you only want to, you only want good doctors. That's right. You only want good doctors. Uh, there's a lot of different kind of doctors, but I think I'll stick to the scientists. I'm going to agree with you on that one, Miss Atwood. <laughs> I would be a scientist as well. Um, just because I think I like making mistakes and learning uh -huh. from them. As, as a doctor, you don't want to make mistakes. No, you don't. You don't. Because no. That would be kind of scary. <laughs> um, and I, when I picture a scientist, I just, there's so many different kinds of scientists. Things that you can do. Kind of like there are so many different kinds of doctors. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not always about like mixing things together yeah, and having blow up. up. Yeah. I just, I like to find things out. I'm yeah. always asking questions. I do make mistakes all the time. Mm -hmm. Doctors have to, well, not all doctors, but some doctors have to deal with blood. Yes. And snot. 
Yes. And other yucky things. Other yucky stuff. Um, and I am yeah. not one of those people that does well with those things. Um, I get very uncomfortable around that mm-hmm. stuff. So I just don't think I'd be good at being a doctor. No, I don't it's, think I would. It's either. not something I don't want to do. Um, yeah. But it's just something I don't think I'd be good at. So yeah. we are going to, like I said, we're going to put these questions up for you. So I want you to watch our morning meeting. And then I want you to use your voice to record comments so that your friends can hear um, what you think about these three things. And make sure you tell us a little bit more about why, why? you picked those different mm-hmm. things. Um, that way we can understand more about you and your thinking behind it. All right? So I hope you have yeah. a great rest of your day. I will see you at 1030 Bye. for our letter link.